Hello everyone, and welcome back to Unbound Learners Pre-K. How are you doing today? If you're doing well, you can show me with a thumbs up. If you're feeling okay, you can show me by putting your thumb in the middle. And if you're not feeling very well, you can show me with a thumbs down. But hopefully after circle time is over, you'll be feeling better. So let's get started. Let's sing our good morning song together. Stretch those arms out like airplane wings and fly to one side, fly over to the other side, fly back to the middle, and now take your airplane wings into a big circle out in front of you like this. Reach the circle up over your head and stretch to one side, over to the other side. Last stretch up at the top and we'll bring the circle back down and sing together. Good morning, dear earth. Good morning, dear sun. Good morning, dear rocks and flowers, everyone. Good morning, dear beast and birds in the trees. Good morning to you and good morning to me. Good morning, friends. I hope that you're having a wonderful day so far. Before we get started with the calendar and weather chart, let's do three things. Number one, put on our listening ears. Number two, put on our thinking hats. And number three, warm up our hearts like this. Boom, 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 boom. And now let me get my pointing stick and we can go over the date. Let's start off with the month. The month is right up here. Do you know what the month is? June, that's right. The month is June. Today is June 9th. Let's move the chip over from yesterday. Yesterday was June 8th. Today is June 9th, 2021 or 2021. You can say the date, the year, both ways. Okay, let's get those counting fingers ready and warm them up to give them a stretch. Will you count all of the days that we've had so far in the month of June with me? Let's start with the number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have had nine days so far in the month of June. Now let's sing the Days of the Week song. For this song, we need to hold up seven fingers like this for each one of the seven days of the week. If you know the words, you can sing with me. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Let's go down to the bottom of the chart. I'm going to give you the sound that the day starts with. And if you know what day it is, you can say it out loud. Yesterday was t. Tuesday. Today is w. Wednesday. Tomorrow will be f. Thursday. Let's sing Today is Wednesday together. It goes like this. Today is Wednesday, today is Wednesday, today is Wednesday, all day long. Today is Wednesday, today is Wednesday, today is Wednesday, all day long. Now let's go back up to the top of the chart where we have the season. Do you know what the season is? Spring. It's springtime where I live. It's the end of spring. Now let's go back down to the bottom of the chart and let's sing the weather song together before we share the weather. What's the weather? What's the weather? Can you tell? Can you tell? Is the sun shining? Is the rain falling? Can you tell? Can you tell? Right now where I live, when I look outside, it's another mostly sunny day, 
with a few puffy white cumulus clouds in the sky. Yesterday afternoon, we got a thunderstorm, so the temperature cooled off a little bit. Yesterday was pretty warm. Today, my temperature chart is still on orange, but it's not as warm as it was yesterday. Warm and mostly sunny. What's the weather like where you live, friends? Thanks for sharing the weather with me. And now let's move on to the letter, the number, and the sign of the week. This week, we have been talking all about this uppercase letter. Do you remember the sound that this letter makes? K, K. That's right, friends. And what is this letter called? C. This is an uppercase or a capital C. C says k, k. Let's take a look and let's see what's inside of the letter box today. So it's actually not inside of my box. It's a little bit too big to fit inside, but it's right up here in front of me. It's something that starts with the letter Here's your first clue. This is something that you find up in the sky. This can be puffy and white. It can be dark and gray. And here is your last clue. This is something that rain and snow fall from. Do you know what it could be? A cloud. Cloud starts with the letter C. I have some puffy white cumulus clouds right here. This is something that I use on my calendar and weather chart on a cloudy day. This is how you write an uppercase or capital K C. One more time. Let's go over the number of the week. Do you remember what number this is? Two. This is the number two. Let's hold up two fingers together. One, two. And now let's count to the number two using the large bead frame. This week, we are going to count to the number two using the large bead frame. So we are going to count two of the green beads up here because these are units. So let's count to two. One, two, two units. And let's see what's inside of the box today. I have two pebbles here. One, two. One, two. Two pebbles. And now let's go over the sign of the week. This week we have been practicing how to say forest in sign language. Will you show me how? That's right, friends. Let's do that one more time together. Forest. One of my favorite parts of camping is looking at all the stars in the sky once the sun has set. A group of stars that form a pattern in the sky is called a constellation. Have you ever looked up into the sky at night that is covered in stars? Because there are billions of stars, by breaking them down into smaller groups with names or constellations, it helps us understand the position of the stars and the planets in the sky. A person who studies the stars is called an astronomer. There are 88 constellations in the sky, but not all of them can be seen at once. Depending on the time of the year, only certain constellations can be seen. The largest constellation is called Hydra and takes up over 3% of the sky. Now some of the most popular constellations that are easiest to spot in the sky are the Big Dipper, the Little Dipper, and Orion. 
For today's work, you are going to get to bring the night sky inside. For today's work, we are going to make a constellation projector. So for this work, you will need a sponge, a piece of tin foil, a cardboard tube, so I'm just using an empty toilet paper roll, a picture of the constellation of your choice, some tape, and a pen or a pencil. So you can start off by asking your grown-up to either draw a constellation of your choice or a simpler option would be to print out an image of the constellation, especially if you choose a more complicated constellation today. So once you have your drawing, you are going to take your sponge and you are going to put the piece of tin foil on top of the sponge like this and then the image of the constellation on top of the tin foil. So you have the sponge at the bottom, the tin foil, and then the picture of the constellation. The constellation that I chose was Orion's Belt. Orion is a constellation that you can find in the sky, and today we are going to be making Orion's Belt, which is just one, two, three. Three groups of stars together to form Orion's Belt. Now I'm going to take my pen, you can also use a sharp pencil, and you're just going to poke holes for each of the stars. So I'm going to poke one hole in each star, so I'll have three holes all together. One, two, three. Remove the piece of paper and the tin foil, and if you look closely, you can see that the holes have poked through the paper and into the tin foil like this. Next, you're going to take your cardboard roll and cover the tin foil. You want to make sure that the constellation, so that the little holes that you have, are inside of the opening right here. So the opening of the roll is right here and the constellations, the three little stars, are right inside of that opening. And just fold the tin foil over. You can add a few pieces of tape to secure the tin foil. And now that we have our projector, I'm going to go grab a flashlight and let's make sure that this works. So I have a headlight right here. You can also just use a flashlight. And I'm going to put it on the other end of the toilet paper roll and turn it on and let's see what happens. Wow, look at the constellation. I can see Orion's belt. Let's get back to circle time. Welcome back to circle time, friends. Before we go, will you sing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star with me? Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Thanks for singing with me, and thanks for learning with me today. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a big thumbs up, and find me on OutSchool for my live and interactive classes. You can also support my channel by checking out my Patreon page and gain access to bonus features for your child. Before we go, let's sing our goodbye song together. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. I'll see you next time. Have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you tomorrow.